Hey everybody, and welcome to my tutorial about how to draw cartoon hands. We are going to simplify them to make them easier to draw and also look at different styles. Alright then, let's get to it. Alright, first of all we have to draw the base of the hand, the palm. And there are different ways to draw them. Um, for me, I like to draw them with the help of a simple oval shape, and in this case I draw it very flat, like uh, up here are going to be the fingers, And but you can also draw it in a different way. You can draw it in a circular shape and have the fingers up here, or maybe a little bit longer even and have the fingers like this. Uh, of course you don't have to use a oval shape, you could also use more of a box-like shape and have the fingers on them. It's completely up to you. For cartoon hands there are no specific rules. There are some techniques that are very useful and also you should somewhat follow the anatomy to make it at least look a little bit believable, but other than that you can do whatever you want. Now we want to draw the fingers and at first we're going to draw these fingers here and there are different ways to do that. You could for example uh, right from the beginning draw these kind of uh, oval shapes, these little sausages as to say, and have it this way. But I don't personally uh, recommend this way because um, it's very rigid, you cannot really uh, draw special positions of the fingers or something like that. It's, it's not the best way. For very easy positions, like the fingers being stretched out or something like that, it's probably okay, but other than that, hmm, I don't recommend it. Then for example you could use this kind of guideline in order to help you with the drawing of the fingers and you have to draw the guideline in a way that it's a little bit shorter, this distance is shorter here than here, because on this side is going to be the pinky finger. Uh, and then you just simply divide it into four equal partitions and there you go, you have uh, your basic guidelines for your fingers. Uh, this is useful if the fingers are close together uh, and you can use this kind of glove-like um, guideline. However, again, if the fingers are going to have some special position, then it's not really that useful. So. Yeah, the technique that I personally prefer is to draw these lines here, these curves, which you can bend uh, in whatever way you want, of course, and also draw in whatever length you want to, depending on the style you want to um, achieve. And of course the pinky finger is going to be a little bit shorter. And then we are simply going to draw the circles on top, and I'm going to make very big circles because in the style I want to draw these fingers are going to be quite chubby as to say and I'm choosing a different color to distinguish it a little bit better and all we do is just trace it we follow the curvature that we chose before and just draw the fingers and it's good to give the fingers a little bit of a curvature uh, to make it look a little bit more dynamic, uh, more interesting if it would be just straight fingers. Um, it kind of looks a little bit boring to be honest. And so this is a nice way to make them a little bit more uh, yeah, cartoon-like, more interesting. All right? And also the palm here has a little bit of a curvature. I say a little bit way too often, it's unbelievable. Sorry for that. So, and for the thumb, uh, what we do is at first we draw the base of the thumb like we have right here uh, and we draw it in a way that it's um, only until about half of the palm, yes? Uh, and this is what I'm doing here. I should not make it too small or too big, otherwise it looks a little bit weird. Say a little bit again, oh my god. <sighs> um, and it also can go over the oval, it normally does, like here you can see it, if you have the line here uh, for the hand then it goes a little bit over it. And also keep in mind that this part can also move a little bit forward or backwards. And in this case it's stretched out and the tip of the thumb is normally at the height of the base 
of the other fingers and we have to consider that and so it should not reach out too far but also not not be too short and the circle here can be a little bit uh, bigger than the ones of the other fingers and then we simply connect it like this also give it again this little curvature and we indicate the thumb also here on the palm and this is a simple way to draw cartoon hands in this specific style and I'm going to do the outlining later for now we are jumping to the next one now this one is going to have a circle of base I'm just choosing it like this and I want to draw it in kind of this position like bam. and so we are going to do that the index finger is stretched out and also I'm going to make it longer than before and again uh, give it this little curvature to make it more dynamic and the other fingers are bent inwards like this and I'm giving this hand only four fingers this time. You see this style in many cartoons. The main reason is of course that drawing hands with only four fingers is less work than drawing them with five fingers. And in animation um, you have to do a lot of drawings and um, if you have to spend less time on the hands and even professionals um, sometimes have problems with drawing hands, they are difficult after all, and it's very good to reduce this work time, and they still look fine, like um, you can watch Mickey Mouse or The Simpsons or uh, some cartoon series like that, and you aren't weirded out by their hands that they only have four fingers or something like that, they still look normal enough, it's totally fine. Also, in cartoons you may want to, like in this example, draw hands with very thick fingers to make them look even more cartoony, um, but uh, if you are using five fingers with this thickness of for the fingers, then it uh, gets a little bit too much and the hands get too big, uh, so this would be something you would want to avoid, of course. Another thing is, when you are doing animations, you normally work with only one thickness for the lines. And if you have too many details, then it can happen that these lines get overcrowded, that it gets too much and you aren't able to make out the details anymore, but instead it just looks like a blob of black lines. Uh, this is not what you want, of course. Now let's get back to the drawing, um, what I did here was I have the fingers bent around like this and a way to draw it is simply by curving it around, just simply like this, like a spiral and then at the point where it stops you have to just this almost straight line and this is a very simple way to draw this kind of um, finger position. And now just the thumb is left, and I'm going to make it very quick and simple. It's bent backwards like this. And this is a very quick and basic way how to draw hands with only four fingers. And I'm going to make this one look a little bit like a glove, because why not? Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to do the outlining later. Uh, and we will just move right to the next one. Now for the third and last hand that I'm going to draw in this video, we are choosing this kind of long base, this long palm. And we are also going to draw long fingers, which are much more slender than the ones before. Almost uh, realistic uh, in the sense of thickness. But of course we're not worrying about uh, perfect proportions or anything like that and we have fingers stretched out like this again the pinky finger is the shortest as simple as that and what I'm going to do is for the fingertips I'm going to draw this time oval shapes because I also want to have pointier fingers uh, and to achieve this uh, look to help me out with that Instead of circles, I'm going to draw these ovals. So, to give you a little bit more trivia about hands in cartoon series, one reason why you would give your character only four fingers on their hands is 
um, because you may want to make your character seem a little bit less serious. Uh, there is a good example for that, this would be Gravity Falls, where you actually have characters with different numbers of fingers. Uh, the tinier ones, the children, or simply the less serious characters uh, have four fingers on their hands, while the adults, the big characters, or the bad characters, uh, have five fingers on their hands. And there is even a even more serious character who has even six fingers. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you who that is, this would be spoilers, of course. Uh, and another example would be South Park, uh, where the kids actually don't have any fingers at all, not really. Like, they are just balls or knobs or however you would call them. And only the adults have actual fingers on their hands. Uh, and so this is quite interesting. I don't know if the makers of South Park actually thought about that or it's, it just happened. So that's, that's how it is. But it's interesting that the choice of how many fingers your character is going to have can influence the personality, um, how the personality of the character is perceived. Uh, it may not have that strong of an impact, of course, but somewhat at least. Uh, so yeah, this and it was interesting to read when I did the research. Alright, so we are pretty much done here with this hand. Uh, and yeah, you see, I made the fingers much more slender. Uh, they almost have a realistic look to them, but uh, as you were able to see, I was only using the techniques that I showed you before. I was not worrying about the right proportions or anything like that, but just and uh, drew them however long I felt like and uh, this was the result. And now I'm going to fast forward for the outlining and get back to you when I'm done. Alright. Alright and I'm done. As you can see there are many different ways to draw hands with this very simple technique and you can freely choose whatever style and whatever proportions and whatever you want. Now this was a small step towards drawing human anatomy for me and of course I want to uh, learn much more about it and I have to of course. Uh, next of all would be probably how to draw hands anatomically correct. But uh, the next videos that I'm going to do are going to be about something that is related to these cartoon hands and something that I'm very excited about. So, let's get to the Q&A section now. Um, this time I have a question which is a little bit difficult to answer. And it is, if I could maybe point, uh, point out a start with this direction when you are uh, starting to learn how to draw and how to do art. Now there isn't just one correct way. First of all, it really depends on what kind of art you wanna do um, and also it isn't like some other subjects where you have steps like at first you learn this and then next one, next one, next one and it's just very linear but there are all sorts of things and it doesn't matter what you learn first because it's not uh, really completely connected like you can learn at first about color theory or you learn about shading at first or you learn about uh, uh, about line art or just about the materials that you're using and the, the essential uh, basics vary a lot depending on what kind of art you want to do. Like for example, somebody who is painting landscapes with watercolors or oil-based colors or something like that uh, is going to need very different basics to somebody who is uh, drawing comic characters with digital media. It is quite a difference. But what I can tell you is, it's very important, first of all, that you learn the basics of it all. It may not be the most uh, exciting thing to do, but it helps you so much. And also what I figured out doing my research and stuff is, that it's very helpful to use several dif different sources, not just one book or just learn from one teacher, but try different ways. Um, if you want to learn uh, something about a specific topic, then, for example, how to draw hands. Yeah? Um, then there are many different ways to do that. You can find all sorts of techniques in different books or learn from different teachers. You can uh, watch different videos. You, for example, don't only have to watch my videos. Uh, you can uh, watch videos from other YouTubers too and compare them and stuff like that. Uh, and this way you 
can choose which technique is the best for yourself uh, or even develop your own kind of technique from it. Of course you don't have to do that much research like I do where I get everything that I can find and analyze it uh, to the very detail. That's maybe a little bit too much, but I still recommend that you get different sources and materials and experiment a little bit. Try out different things. One reason why you may feel stuck is because you may be doing just the same thing over and over again and trying something new may give you a very uh, useful and interesting perspective, a new direction. Alright then. Let me thank you for watching and of course, as always, if you have any questions, feedback or requests for me, then please let me know down below in the comment section. And if you want to support me, my cats and my show, then you can check out my Patreon page. Your support would be really highly appreciated. Alright then, have fun drawing.